Afterburn. I'm gonna show you how you can capture your screen, video capturing uh, for games or tutorials, that kind of stuff. And all lots of people have shown how it works, and I've seen all the, the movies on the internet, and I was like, holy shit, get to the facts. What the fuck? Why doesn't it work for me? What the hell is going on? So, uh, I figured it all out in the end. It cost me like almost a whole day of uh, thinking about it, not even doing anything, but you know. Um, so that uh, you don't want that super large files, it's all bullshit. I figured out to make it really nice and small. So, the first thing you do is you install your program, MSI Afterburner. It's for overclocking your video card. The forums are on Guru 3D. Uh, they also had in the early days already the Riva Tuner stuff going on there. And with MSI Afterburner, you have to install as well the Riva Statistics Server. Um, that's the recording part actually. Um, so. You install the both of the programs for your uh, environment. Like you figure that out for yourself. I'm not going to bother you. Uh, go to settings, and straight away we go to video capture. Make a nice shortcut key, so like Control and your plus sign on your num lock. And after that, I found out that what works best for me and the smallest is my nice video card. It's this one. <laughs> Pretty nice, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a sapphire, and it comes with this codec. So that's really nice. I did a benchmark on it on full frame rate, and that is okay. So that's fine. That works for me. Makes it really small, and it captures like uh, there's nothing going on really. It's just uh, working on the GPU, if you can see. And the CPU is not doing it uh, right now. It's just GPU working. So if you don't believe me, I will show you. Like uh, the performance on my CPU is well. Okay, now it becomes. It's doing some stuff. It has to call like some stuff, but it's not like in the max or anything. It's not really things going on that are very hard for this computer. In fact. So it's all 8 MD. I put it on a full screen. Uh, this is full screen. Uh, it's exactly the, the resolution I have on my screen. Put it on 30 frames per second. That's high enough. If you want to go higher for slow mouse and that kind of things, you can do that as well. No problem. It gets a little bit bigger, but that's it. Um, I don't use it. Um, you can limit it later, <laughs> actually, if you want to. So now it's uh, taking out the best. Uh, of your things that are going on in frame uh, rate perspective and after all you can put it to a uh, to hold to something you really want this is the folder where I'm capturing to it's a different drive so less lag keep in mind if you do have more drives available then use another drive to capture on and then the important stuff for your audio I'm using uh, a webcam mic at this time. Works okay for me. Um, the only thing I have to do is I use the Logitech software and make sure right sound is off because I don't like that right sound. It's not right to me, but well, uh, could help you out. And the first source is for uh, the music playing or anything, so you can you have your music and your voice. Make sure your volume is uh, low. You can do that in your uh, sound management as well, figure that out. Um, in the beginning all my mixes were down mix multi channel to stereo. I had some problems with um, containers and stuff because of the sounds. Um, you see it's on the MKV, that's the container name, so it's gonna be, my capture is gonna have that MKV. Uh, it's not that big as you can see. And it doesn't know really what the frame rate and stuff is because it's still recording. But I'm sure it's uh, HD and uh, 30 frames per second. So that's what's going on. And uh, I had it on the uh, AHV, 
but it's not warm, so it has problems. So this one's newer, and this container is uh, awesome for your sound. It's uh, very good. So that's what I have. And click OK. I use Guns with us already running. So that's it for that. Um, when it's done recording, um, yeah, you can click your your hotkey again. So not use this file directly in programs like After Effects, for example. Um, maybe Sony Vegas will do, I don't know, but um, it's not really a common container. So there's this free program, it's called Handbrake. And I downloaded it, it's open source, installed it, and this is it. I open my file open it and it will scan this one and recognizes it as what it is so you see this resolution no filters video that's correct it's this is the container it's in what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stick it to a frame right so that's the same as the frame limit it's just 30 frames so that's pretty awesome and good enough for audio you see it's uh, recorded audio uh, on this codec and probably I want to use a little bit higher because it probably is a little bit higher in the in, in your um, how do you call that in, in your original file and so I'm gonna put it like that nothing there and take this off you don't need it if you do take it off you see uh, it's what it's gonna output as this file this container it says this is the name it gets with it and what you're gonna do is go to start and we'll put it in the same directory uh, after it okay so it's finished and you can close the program this is the new file you can see now it knows how big it is doesn't show the frame rate but it's pretty probably see it in uh, properties 3 frames a second and the most fun thing is it's really small you see that? very small so now you are ready to import your stuff uh, in something like called uh, After Effects maybe um, this is being open here so I'm going to import this file and show you uh, how it works. So we're in project and we're going to import that one. It says it's an MPAC type, so probably it thinks it's okay. Uh, I don't know how that works, but yeah, it works, so it's good for me. Uh, caps lock is still on uh, last time so once you previews you see looking good show you some tricks sound is there if you make mp3 out of it in your handbrake program this will not work it will uh, maybe in another program it would but in this program and this workflow it doesn't so for the audio i'll leave it to aac what i have shown you uh, what I like to do is do some really small adjustments. Uh, first, way, first, the curves. The curves are always good to make it uh, pop out a little bit. Just to show you like that. And another thing I like to do is hide that when using Windows the shape layer. Put it on there. And what I do is just make this. Uh, Check and you can make it whatever color you like. And what I like to do is make another shape layer this time bigger and I'm gonna cover the whole screen like this and put them onto you. <laughs> you get this nice uh, color finny going on. I really like that. So I've got this blue kind of. Uh, thingy going on it's nice isn't it yeah so 
now you're ready to render uh, what I like to do first to get the management right is make a pre-compose move all the attributes so it's all inside a pre-compose layer uh, that's good for the hierarchy in the Adobe uh, programs and it could affect your renders as well so uh, just good habit to put it in pre -composed to make sure everything's matched all right and uh, everything can be calculated all right that kind of stuff after that you can put on your capture lock to make a, make a movie and leave it to your uh, best settings like this best for no GL not necessarily uh, gonna be any faster in this kind of things so that um, this one you put it to H264 what it is but you can also choose uh, something different what you like I like to go with this make sure there's audio on and you can put it on uh, that I want CAC say OK and it's gonna save this file in MP4 so that's doable you can work with it later you can convert it again to something smaller uh, what you want what I like to do is just save and say render and tra -la -la, it's gonna give you an estimated uh, remaining time in a few seconds probably it's around 20 minutes I guess something like that 25 23 okay So that's okay. So you have to weigh that out. It's a five minutes thingy, and this is the time it takes to render with some small thingies going on. So I hope uh, that will work for you. Okay. Uh, that's it actually. Um, after it's finished, you have this MP4 file format uh, that's maybe a bit larger than it was before. So it will be. Uh, I'll show you different files now. But in the end, it will be a bit bigger file, like maybe 80, 90, or 100 uh, megabytes. And you can convert that in your handbrake program or VLC to convert it to something smaller. Uh, compress it and make sure the quality is still okay. And it's uh, uploadable if you do the same settings you had before in your handbrake program again the same thing all the same as I showed you before it will get a smaller again and you can upload it straight away in HD quality to your uh, YouTube account for example and it will play uh, perfect it will do some transcoding but it won't take that much more time while uploading I haven't had any troubles with that so that's it uh, good luck and this is the end bye bye